Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, the Bible says, And he spake a parable to them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Prayer is not what we do. Prayer is who we are. Because if you are not praying, are you with me? That's who we are. We are according to God's script. We are supposed to be a house of prayer. That's, that's who we are. So if you are not praying, you are in a state of comatose. He said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. If you go to the hospital and find someone that has been in coma for two weeks, he's still a man, but he's not a functioning man. That's not the description of what a man is. He's in a state where he needs the last strand of the mercy of God to help him out. That's how you look like when you forsake the way of prayer. Because we, we, prayer is who we are. And part of the purpose of this conference is to, is to, is to quicken men in comatose. <laughs> Woo to quicken men. You've, you, your spiritual senses have never been activated sufficient enough for you to see the visions of God. You are, you are comatose. Your ear has not been quickened in the morning time to hear the whispers from heaven. You are comatose. You don't know the experience of what it means to be taken to heaven to receive lectures beyond the lecture you receive in church. You are comatose. The same way God used to come into the garden to visit with Adam, and Adam could not visit because he did not have the life of God. Now that we have the life of God, some of the things that should characterize your experience is that you get taken to heaven for education, for, for alignment, so that for renewal of mind, so that you see how things are done in that space, and then you come to this broken world and insist that it must be done here the way I saw it right there. Can we ask God finally before we take our seat? Oh God, we want all the colors of the life in the spirit that we have inherited in Christ Jesus. The Bible says he wakes up a great while before day goes into a solitary place. Jesus did not need a cinema. Jesus did not need a cinema. Because every time he goes on his knees to interact with heaven, there were pictures of glory that filled his soul. He doesn't need a worldly musician to bring entertainment. There was music inside of him. <laughs> if you are spiritually healthy, there should be music inside. <laughs> oh, my If what I'm describing is alien to you, you are comatose. That may not always to pray and not to faint. Can we ask that all the colors of interactions and intimacy with God that results because we persist in prayer will become our portion. That no one will live here lame. You will, you will leave your crutches. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! They say we shall mount up with wings like the eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. Your destiny is not to faint. There is an energy stronger than the atomic bomb walked into your spirit man. And God is expecting you to function by that energy. 
You cannot be a normal man. When I leave this world, I will go with prayer. And I came by prayer. Came by prayer. When I leave this world, when I leave this world, are we going? Are we going?